Yo, what is poppin' guys? This is Ark, and welcome back to another Mythic Heroes video. In today's video, we are going to be going over my 19 billion damage run in Pantheon. But before we hop into the run, let me go over the team I use. So the first hero I use is going to be called Archimedes, or as I like to call him, Archie. Archie is going to be the main damage dealer in this team, his main source of damage coming from his ultimate power surge. This triples his auto attack speed and boosts his damage by 30% as well. The divinities I ran on him were all two node divinities, Prevail, Water Drop, and Primal Totem. But a more optimal build for bosses would probably include Colossus and Culmination instead, as they would be greatly boosting his damage and Pantheon isn't necessarily going to be um, a mode for where you're worried about reducing damage by a tiny bit. His equipment wears um, dark runes with the axe as they both increase his damage as well. If you don't have high enough dark runes or your axe is used somewhere else, you could probably sub in on fire runes and a staff as well as they would also boost his damage but I find that dark runes and axe correlates to, a high, to higher damage runs more often. So the second hero I use is going to be Odin. Odin is going to be a, is going to act as a big enabler of Archie, allowing him to spam his ults one after another with large thanks thanks to his um, Raven Guardian's ability. I ran all two node divinities on Odin as well, and his equipment was Earth Shield because I didn't want him randomly dying later on in the run since mine is just Celestial too and. Odin needs to stay alive for Archie to deal heaps of damage. The third hero I use is going to be Western Queen. Western Queen also boosts Archie's damage by quite a bit thanks to her Bluebird ability. Since Archie is the highest combat rating hero in the comp for me, he is going to get Bluebird. Bluebird boosts Archie's or Bluebird gives Archie 25% of Western Queen's attack and defense outright, and her ultimate boosts this by 2x and also increases Archie's attack speed by 80%. Her iconic weapon also gives Archie quite a big boost as well over a large number of stats. It gives him a 20% attack boost, 20% dodge boost, and a 20% crit chance while also giving him a little bit more extra energy. Her divinities I ran were um, Prevail and Panacea. Although mine is just at 5 nodes, if she was at 6 nodes, I would run Excitement and Wrath as well to boost her up a little bit more, which would end up boosting Archie up more as well. The fourth hero I ran in this team was Freya. Freya is an amazing booster for fighter heroes like Archie, thanks to her Battle Rune active skill, which boosts his attacks, speed, by a um, good chunk at the start of the battle because he's a fighter, but more importantly her bound prey skill as it tremendously increases the damage that Archie deals. Um, her divinities I ran were um, Extraordinary, Corrosion, and gra Gravitational Field. I ran Extraordinary on Odin and Freya as well, even though only one of them will count since it doesn't stack. A more optimal build for Freya would probably include Eterna or Embroilment instead of Extraordinary, because Freya can deal some a good chunk of damage. Her equipment was Earth Runes with the shield, because I didn't want her to like stub her toe and die randomly in the middle of the battle, because she plays big chunk or she plays a big part in me in making sure that Archie deals heaps of damage. If you're running low on earth runes or shield you could always replace them with fire runes and staff as Freya can deal a good chunk of damage thanks to her barbed spear skill but I found that I would rather make sure that she's alive as it tends to deal more damage as she tends to allow Archie to deal more damage overall. And the last hero I used was Nua. Nua is an amazing buffer, especially for fighters, thanks to her ultimate ability. If I had Iset built, I would use Iset, but unfortunately mine isn't really that built, so Nua it is. 
Um, Nua, her divinity skills that I ran were Full Moon, Transcend, and Aurora. The only really important one I found is Full Moon, but hey, the other two, they don't really hurt her, so might as well just slap them in there. So for the Pantheon run, I ran Dark Runes as well, just like Archie, and then I also ran um, Excalibur, because Excalibur is level 8, and it's just a flat 9% attack and defense boost to all allies, which helps out a good chunk in dealing lots of damage. Since they're both URs, a lot of you guys might not have them built, in which case a good sub-in sub option would be um, Dionysus. Since all he really needs is just his, or all he really wants is just his iconic weapon at 300, you don't really need any of his divinity skills that built, and his equipment basically the same as Nua's. Um, so let's get to the run. <laughs> If you guys want a more in-depth explanation of why I chose certain relics and blessings over others, or a more in-depth video about each of the heroes I used or the whole team, let me know down in the comment section below. We should be getting a new uh, mode of Pantheon as well in tomorrow's update, so let me know if you guys want a video on that. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like and sub to the channel as it really helps out a lot, and peace out Girl Scouts.